How you doing, church? To be honest with you, I've been better. For me, this is a day of darkness. You see, on Tuesday of last week, Governor Wolf encouraged churches to, to keep one another safe during the holidays. He encouraged us to, to create opportunities for worship virtually and, and to forego in-house worship services this season to help us mitigate the surge of COVID in Pennsylvania. This last Friday, he mandated the closing of, of restaurants and other gathering spaces for, for in-house get-togethers, as well as limiting all in-house uh, get-togethers um, to, to a 10-person limit. Not long after his announcement, I received an email from our bishop, Bishop Cynthia Moore Kakoy reminding us of our moral and ethical obligation to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ, especially in the midst of crisis. She asked us to, to, to be safe and to honor the guidelines that Governor Wolf has, has asked of us, but, but mandated to others, which is to limit our gatherings, to wear masks, to social distance whenever we leave our homes. That letter was followed by yet another, by the appoint of cabinet. It's the leaders uh, that work with the bishop strongly recommending that we cease all gatherings, including in-house gatherings, unless they are under the 10-person limit until this crisis can be re-evaluated in January. I met yesterday, Monday, December 14th, with our leadership team here at Grove City Grace, and it is with a heavy heart that we have decided to honor the requests of our governor, our bishop, and the cabinet. Effective immediately, Grove City Grace will not meet for in-house worship for the remainder of 2020. We will continue to have our small group meetings with 10 people or less. That means our Bible studies, our Sunday school classes, uh, all of our other ministries will continue to meet so long as they remain within the 10-person limit. We will reevaluate the status of the virus in Grove City come January and, and we'll start back with in-house worship as soon as it is safe to do so. Sadly, however, that does mean we will not have our traditional Christmas Eve worship services in-house. And we do this for several reasons. We do this to honor those who have suffered and died at the hands of this deadly virus. We do this to stand in unison with those who have lost their livelihoods because of this pandemic. We do this to show our support for the frontline workers who are risking themselves and their families day in and day out to care tirelessly for our loved ones. We do this to fulfill the biblical mandate in Hebrews 13, 17, which we are told to obey our leaders and to submit to them. For they're keeping watch over your souls, Hebrews tells us, and they will give an account. Let them do this with joy, not with sighing, for that would be harmful to you. Please understand, this decision did not come easily. And we understand that it is not going to please everyone. I pray that you are understanding but if you can't find it in your heart to be understanding, I pray that you can find it within your heart to be forgiving. As I said, for, for me, this is a day of darkness. This is not the message I wanted to bring to you this Christmas. But together we will, we will find solace in the reason for the season. We will get through this together. The Apostle Paul reminds us that, that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness will not overcome it. I believe that. If you're struggling in the darkness of, of this day, be it spiritually or relationally or economically or, or in any way, I would love 
to walk with you along your journey to health and wholeness. If you just want to talk because we haven't connected in way too long, I would be honored to spend time with you. It's hard to connect with so many from me, but, but for you to connect, it's a little bit easier. So please don't hesitate to call or text or email. I would love to hear from you. Please know that God is still on the throne and, and we will celebrate Christmas Eve together. We, we're now working on an outdoor Christmas Eve worship experience and, and we will be worshiping online together at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve. The virtual service will be accessible through the church website, through YouTube and Facebook. And, and we will be getting you more information on the outdoor experience as soon as we can get it pulled together in these next few days. Just know this, I want you to be blessed, church, because you are a blessing. Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you soon. God bless. Have a great day.